So here's a brief demo of some extra code I've added to the poster control module. I've added a RESTful interface which allows you to uh, securely access the contents of the posters that are in the world. So to give you a demo of that, on the left hand side here we have a regular Wonderland client containing a poster, this is the one poster, with uh, the default text in it saying hello world. On the right hand side we have a regular Mac terminal. First thing we need to do is to log in and store the authentication credentials in a cookie. And to do that we use curl. In fact we're going to use curl for all of these examples. So curl is quite a nice tool for just being able to call uh, HTTP or HTTPS, uh, a bit like wget. So curl we use to uh, first of all store the cookies in a cookies.txt file and we pass in some data which is the username and password. In my case it's admin and admin and we give the URL, which is the URL for the authentication module. So let's just do that. And that will store the cookies in the cookies.txt file. The next thing we want to do is to just get the list of posters. And to do that, we again, we use curl, and we pass in the cookies from the cookies.txt file. We also set a header, because we want to get the response as HTML, and we just call the URL that gives us the list of posters. And we get back that list of posters as expressed in HTML. It's not very interesting, but it contains only one poster. The other thing we can do is request it as XML. And to do that, we'll just change the accept header from text HTML to application XML. Let's just do that. And there we are, we get to see the response back in as an XML um, document. Again, it's just the one poster and we get the cell ID, the name of the poster and the contents of the poster. The nice thing about REST is we can use it to create different kinds of URLs which enable us to look at different parts of the system, in our case the internals of the Wonderland application server. So what we'll do, we'll just look at uh, one of the posters. And in fact, in our example, we only have one poster. We have a list of posters and in Java, uh, lists begin at zero, so we want to look at the zeroth element of the posters. So we add zero to the URL, and we should just get back that particular poster. And that's what we get back. We get some XML back, which is a poster record. Again, it's the cell ID, the name of the poster, and its contents. So by default, curl, curl uses get. But what happens if we want to change the contents of the poster? Well, what we want to do is, rather than doing a get, we want to do a put. So here's an example of using put to change the contents of a poster using curl. So we tell curl we want to use put. We have to pass in the cookies. Uh, we change the um, header slightly in that we tell it that the content type that we're passing in is text plain and we pass in the data which is updated poster. So this should change the poster which is poster zero its contents to be updated poster. Let's just do that. And as if by magic, it happens. So that's uh, two examples then of using get and put. And finally, one of the things we can also do with uh, curl is, and, and with rest, is to do a delete. So what we'll do, we'll do an example of deleting the zeroth poster. So what we need to do is to go back to our example where we did a default get curl and just change this um, curl to use a delete. So let's just backtrack along the command line. So minus x delete. So we're now telling curl to call the uh, to do delete um, HTTP request on the same URI which is uh, the zeroth poster. And there it goes. So we've here, giving an example of just having a very simple RESTful interface to something like the posters module. This is just a really simple example, and one could imagine how one could extend this to do other operations and other kinds of the internals and the structures inside the Wonderland server. But the nice thing about this, it's all authenticated. That's it.